Okay guys, here how they go. You have got the fifth one. Okay. Okay guys, here how got the fifth one. Show that 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus it goes until n terms which is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. Guys, this is the given one where 1 into 2 into 3 uh, plus 3 in, 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus till n terms. Okay, n terms. They, have, they, they haven't given our n, n value means they they didn't give the n value. Okay, they didn't give any n value, nth term value. So now what you do? You find out the nth term value. And which is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. Let it be. Guys, here as we know, again from mathematical, mathematical induction. Right, wait a minute. Mathematical induction or solution. Solution. Okay, here guys, well, uh, 1 into 2 into 3. Okay, here they have given about n terms. Okay, till n terms. It, it ends till n terms. We don't know the n term value. Okay, now here we must do what, what should we do? They have given this progression like 1 into 2 into 3. Uh, 2 into 3 into 4 so they have given this arithmetic progression like the progression goes on like 3 into 4 into 5 5 into 6 into 7 7 into 8 into 9 so the progression goes on okay so till n terms we don't know the nth term value okay they asked what till n terms but we don't know the nth term value then what you do then what you do to find the nth term find out the nth term find out the nth term which is equal to Guys, here, uh, coming back to the nth term, just look after this. Okay, just look after this. Uh, 1 by 1 into 2 into 3. 3 into 4 into 5. So, here, 1 into 2 into 3 means you go just consider the first terms. Consider what? Consider first terms. Firstly, the first step is consider first terms. To find the nth term, for this type of given equations, you find, to find the nth term, Firstly, find first terms. Here you have 1 is the first term, right? Here you have 1 is the first term, 2 is the first term, here you have 3 is the first term. So 1, 2, 3 are the first terms. Okay? 1, 2, 3 are the first terms. Clear? And let go for, uh, so here, go for the second terms here. Again, go for what? Second terms. Second terms are what? 2 over here, 2 is the second term, here you have 3, here you have 4. So, 2 comma 3 comma 4 are the second terms. 2 comma 3 comma 4 are the second terms. And go for the third terms. Third terms are here. 3, 4, 5 are the third terms. Are you getting it? 3 comma 4 comma 5 are the third terms. Okay, what I have said? I have just... I have just taken out the first term, second term and third term values. As is from the given question, okay, from the given uh, given progressions, like from the given terms, I have I have taken out the first term, second term, and third term value. The first term value I got for one comma two comma three. As we know nth term, as we know nth term, how do we find nth term value? By a formula, by using a formula, right? So the formula is what? A plus n minus one into d, right? A plus n minus one into d, where a will be what? A equal to first term, right? A equal to first term. So the first term in this given 1 comma 2 comma 3 are what? 1 will be the first term. Okay, the first one, the first term. So 1 into, oh sorry, 1 plus n, n minus 1. We don't know n value, so let n be n minus 1 into dd means difference. Difference means this will become what? Where 2 will be a2. Okay, 2 will be a2 minus a1 equal to d. We know this for. Uh, uh, like formula right a2 minus a1 equal to d so this uh, difference formula so like difference to find the difference means 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 how much 2 minus 1 how much 1 clear 2 minus 1 1 now going back to here 1 plus 1 into n n 1 1 into 1 plus into minus minus so minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled the answer we got what n n will be the here n will be the answer guys. Okay, n is the answer over here. Let it be okay. Now let me go for the second term as it is. So second term is what? As here, you know, just apply the formula a plus n minus 1 into d. This is what guys. First you find the first term values. First term value we got what n. Let's go for the second term value. Let's find out what will be the second term value. So, so apply the same formula a plus n minus 1 into d. A value is what over here? 
a value is what? 2 plus n minus 1 into d. Difference. How much? 3 minus 2. 1. Very good. So here 1 will be the difference. Again 2 plus 2 plus uh, 1 into n, n minus n minus 1. So this becomes what? Uh, here how? Plus 2 uh, minus 1. This becomes plus 1. So n plus 1 will be the value for the second term. Clear? Are you getting it? The second term value is what? Second term value is what? n. Okay. n is the second term value. Now this will be the second term value and this will be the it will be this will be the first term value. Clear? Now let me go for the next one, the third term here. Let's go for again. Uh, don't make it clear. So 3 plus n minus 1 into d. d means 1 over here. 4 minus 3, 1. Right. So here 3. 3 plus n. n minus 1. 3 minus 1. How much? 2. So this becomes n plus 2. This is the value for the third term. Are you getting it? n plus 2 is the value for the th third term. Uh, n plus 1 is the value for the second term and n, n is the value for the first term. Clear? We got this. Now guys here nth term. We need what? We need nth term value. Now what you do? To find nth term value, we need nth term value, right? So instead of here what you do? You just go right? n into n plus 1. Sorry. n plus 1 into n plus 2 will be the nth term value for this given equation. Clear? In this given question, the nth term value will be just multiply n into means first term into second term into third term. Like n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Okay. So this is the given value. This is the nth term value. Means this term value. Don't consider this as n value. This is nth term value. Okay. Nth term value. Nth term value. Not It's not n value. It's nth term value. Now here clear. Clear till here where nth term equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. Goes on. Okay. Now here you consider 3 steps. First step, second step, third step. First step equal to what? n belongs to natural number. n belongs to natural number. Where n equal to 1. Okay. Where n equal to 1. Means here s of k. Wait a minute. s of k. Sorry, not k. S of n equal to 1. Okay, s of n equal to 1. Means where n value should be should equal to 1. Means n equals to 1. Always. So this is the first step. n equals to homo. What? N value is what? n equal to 1. Clear? So guys, here they have given n terms equal to n equal to 1. nth terms. Here, okay, let me write down this equation. Let, let's write down the uh, LHS set and RHS set. Let's look over there where um, both the equations are equal or not. Means where LHS side is equal to RHS side or not. Okay. So let's let's check over here. Where 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4. Sorry. Okay. 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5. 3 into 4 into 5. Plus nth term value is what? Here this is the nth term value. Okay. This is the nth term value. Okay, just write down the nth term value where I am writing this value guys. I am writing this value. Okay, don't get confused over here. I am writing this value where n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. This is equal to what? Write down the RHS side value. RHS side value but before writing this, okay, before writing n into n plus 1 into n plus 2, as here what I have said, we are talking about the first step. Okay. First step or case 1? Step 1. Let me write down step 1 or first step. Step 1. So step 1 is equal to what? Where n equal to 1. n equal to 1 means here I got n values. So what do I do? Instead of n I would substitute 1. Instead of n I would substitute what? I would substitute 1. Okay. So 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2. Plus. So this is equal to. And write down the RHS side. So instead of n value you place 1. Write down the RHS side. Instead of n, you replace 1 value. Okay, 1. You place 1. So, n over here, then you place 1. 1 into, instead of n, 1. Okay. So, n into 1. 1 plus 1. Okay. 1 plus 1 into n plus 2. 1 plus 2 into n plus 3. 1 plus 3. By 4. Clear? n equal to 1. n 1. Okay, clear till here? Now what you do is, 
Okay, you go with this. Like here you have 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2. Okay. So, just consider LHS set. This is LHS set, right? Consider LHS set. Sorry, LHS set. LHS set. And this is LHS set. Okay. LHS set. Now you consider LHS set where LHS is equal to 1 into 1, 1, oh sorry, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 into 1 plus 2, 3. Okay. This is equal to 6. Where LHS side we got what? LHS side the value I got what? 6. Means 1 plus 1 here 2. Uh, 1 plus 2, 3. So 2, 3 is 6. So that's what I got. 6 value. Value is 6. Okay. So coming back to the LHS side, here you have 4. 4, 1 plus 3. How much 4? 4, 4 cancel. Here I have what? 1 plus 1. LHS side. 1 plus 1 how much? 2 into uh, 1 plus 2 how much? 3. So this is equal to this are 6. Okay. 2 this are how much? 6. So therefore, therefore I can conclude LHS side is equal to RHS side. So the concluding point, uh, it's very important guys. What you do? You just, you just write therefore N equal to 1 is 2. Okay. N equal to 1 is what? True. Clear? This is the first step guys. Let me go for the second step. Well, coming back to the second step, you assume that, you imagine that, sorry, you imagine that S of K is true. Okay, you, Im you imagine that S of K is true coming back to the second step or step, step number 2. So, second step is guys, here S of K as we know, imagine that S of K is true. You write down the equation where, the, where that equation, the, set, the equation which forms in the second step will be the first equation, right? We know this. So, second step or self step number two. So, step number two. Assume that. Assume that S of K S of K is true then n value will n equal to what s of k is true then n equal to k n equal to what k assume that s of k is true so therefore what you do you wrote write that equation over there where 1 into 2 into them right over here 1 into 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus 5 into 6 3 into 2 into 3 into 4 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 till n terms n value is what n value is what n into n plus, uh, n plus 1 into n plus 2 so instead of n what I have said substitute k ok substitute k so this becomes k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 clear clear uh, guys here let it be so let this be so here uh, clear I hope you got it where k instead of n what I have said I have substituted k so k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 clear so this is equal to n instead of n value in the RHS side instead of n value you plus what k you plus k k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 into 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 is gone okay so k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 4 k plus 3 by 4 let this be equation number 1 or first equation clear so after concluding this as first equation what you do you state therefore s of k is true. s of k is true. this is the rule guys okay don't ask me any questions so here we are uh, where therefore s of k is true as here we got uh, you consider this as first equation so instead of n i have placed k clear till here no let's go for the second third step or step number three the third step the third step it talks about k plus one k plus one theta okay the third step or step number three So here guys, coming back to this third step, where k plus 1th term, yeah, k plus 1th term, so guys, here 
uh, instead of nth term, k plus 1th term, this is not by the nth term, okay, instead of n, what I have said, I have written k plus 1th, so nth term, k plus 1th term, that's all, Bo both are some kind of same guys, okay, so instead of n, what I have said, what I have substituted, I have substituted n, n value, so k plus 1th term is equal to, write down this value as it is, but here, instead of n, instead of n, instead of n value, you place k plus 1, instead of n, you place k plus 1, k plus 1, okay, k plus 1 into, k plus 1 into, k plus 1 plus 1 okay k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 2 this will be the one so if you simplify it what what what, uh, what do you use here gives this gives what k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 are you getting it into k plus these are the this is the k plus f one term value guys okay k plus one term value is what k plus one into k plus two into k plus three is the k plus one term value clear now what you do here comes the process here comes the very important point adding k plus one term on both sides okay adding adding k plus one term on both the sides in which equation in equation number one in equation number one so by adding this k plus one term on both sides in equation number one wait in equation number one then so what what here what do we get what do we get let, let me rub, rub this off okay so here, I got it here, k into k plus 1 into plus 2 plus, plus add this, add k plus 1 term, k plus 1 term is what, k plus 1, k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3, right, this is the one, equal to as it is, you write down this, RH, uh, you write the what's this, what's this value, L, RHS side, RHS side by k plus 1, no, sorry, k into k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. This, we are talking about the first equation, guys. So that's what I have substituted n instead of, uh, I have substituted k instead of n value, okay? So k plus 3 by 4 plus as it is. So here plus, let me make a plus over here. Plus, plus k, k, k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 4 plus here k plus 1 term. So k plus 1 term is what? k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 will be the one. Now what you do? You take LCM. Simplify the RHS side process. Okay, RHS side. Simplify this. So take LCM. LCM means, okay, let me take over here. LCM process where well, here LCM would be 4, 4 will be the LCM. LCM into numerator by denominator as here k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 plus 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. This is the one guys that we are going to get, okay? So as let's say when numerator by denominator by denominator denominator cancel, but denominator numerator cancel. So this becomes k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 plus uh, 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3, okay? So this is the this is the equation that we got last, okay? So now what you do instead of this, instead of this step, instead of this step, what you do? You just write it out. Okay. So here write it down. This is equal to. So guys, here we, if if you look over there, as you can see, where k plus one, k plus one is common. K plus 2, K plus 2 is common. K plus 3, K plus 3 is common. K plus 4 is common. Okay. K plus 4. Here you have K and here you have plus 4, right? So, guys, you take K plus 1, K plus 2, K plus 3 as common things. Okay. Common one. Here you take K plus 1, K plus 2 into K plus 3. So, here I have taken K plus 1, K plus 2, K plus 3 because I have taken all those values. Uh, uh, all those values as common, okay. 
here, how can I this one here, how can I this one here, how can I this two here, how can I this two that's what, so that's what I have taken one as common thing, okay? And here I have k, here I have k, here I have plus 4, so then what, what would I do? What would I do? I will join this both, okay? I will join k plus 4 as it is, okay? Here k is alone and 4 is alone, what should I do? I should adjust them, okay? I should join them, so that's what I have joined. So this becomes what? k plus 4, clear? So by 4, k plus 4 by 4, k plus 4 by 4. Now here comes the process case, okay, we are done with this, like here comes the process, like I can write this k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 into k plus 4, um, I can also write this as, I can also write this as k plus 1 as it is, it's okay, k plus 1 into k plus 2 k plus 1 plus 1 right so i can write k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 2 right so k plus 1 plus 1 uh, into k plus 3 how, how can i write k plus 1 plus 2 k plus 1 plus 2 okay according to the given sum i am going to write i am i'm writing uh, this form okay i am trying to grab or i am i am trying to take that form as according to the question okay as question asked i am trying to um, I am trying to get that form, means here like I have got what k plus 1 plus 1, which is in the form of um, k plus 1 means what, n value, plus 1, here have plus 1 as it is, k plus 1 plus 1 will be the n plus n value, clear? Here k plus 1 plus 2, means k plus 1, va 1 is what, n value, plus 2 as it is, into k plus 4 I got what, so k plus 4 means k plus 1 plus 3 will be the k plus 4 value. So this one, this is what I can write. Over oh, oh, there by 1 by 4. Okay, total by 4. So guys, here this is in the form of RHSL where the, uh, this is the RHSL and this is the RHSL. Okay, they were where RHSL these both were in the same form. So therefore, k plus 1 equal to well, n equal to k plus 1, sorry, not k plus 1 equal to n. So here, what, 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 what I said, consider n equal to k plus 1. So here I got what? k plus 1 means n value, k plus 1 into, k plus 1 means n, n plus 1, k plus 1 means n, n plus 2, k plus 1, n, n plus 3 by 4. So this is the, at last, this is the given one that we got. <coughs> Control the therefore, therefore, k plus 1, the, Term is 2. Okay, k plus 1 is 2. That's enough, okay? Consider k plus 1 is 2. Clear? Thank you.